Hey everybody, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Got a pretty cool rifle to share with you guys today. What we have on the bench is a Wasser 10 cutaway rifle from Romania, imported by Century International Arms. Uh, prior to finding this rifle from the private seller I bought it from, I've never seen or heard of one of these rifles before. As many of you know, I'm an AK collector, so when I uh, found this, uh, this opportunity, I jumped on it right away. After getting it and looking around, I wasn't able to find any example of this on from an online retailer or uh, really there wasn't that many options from private sellers as well. There's one, uh, I believe, listed on Gunbroker, but the price tag on it is horrendous for what, the, what it actually is. Uh, I paid close to $400 for it and, um, you know, obviously for a non... Um, working technically in quotes firearm you know that that's a pretty hefty price tag but I think it's pretty neat it's definitely something that I can use more of a wall hanger and a demonstration piece to my friends etc and uh, when you have a AK collection this again fits right into it so I'll give you a little bit of a closer look at it it is like I said a Wasser 10 it is uh, not a Wasser 1063 because it is not uh, cut out for a double stack magazine it has a single stack 10 round magazine and uh, the single stack bolt in there. They actually used this rifle in the, I'm guessing the Romanian army as a demonstration or instructional piece for new recruits. It does have a serial number. It does need a, a background check if you buy it from a, a dealer. Uh, so it is actually technically considered a firearm and a, a, a registered firearm that will need to be transferred through a dealer. So uh, if and the funny thing is, if you were to actually put rounds in this magazine, uh, chamber around and pull the trigger, it would go boom. Uh, unfortunately, it would go in a boom in a catastrophic way, but uh, as you can imagine, having all these cutouts would make it not uh, sound, and not to mention the uh, cutouts of the barrel here. I, I can't imagine what the damage would be uh, if this thing actually chambered and tried to fire around. I certainly wouldn't want to be around it if that was the case. So, uh, But pretty cool. Like I said, they use it as a training tool. I'll even show you back here. It goes all the way back to where that cleaning kit goes in here. Um, and cut. There's, as you can see, multiple cuts in the receiver there. And uh, it has the, the cuts even in the magazine here, which does come out. Everything in this mag in this gun is a little bit tight, I've noticed. I'm going to have to go in here and clean things up, etc. But as you can see, that was removable. Uh, the safety works just like you normally would in a, in a firearm there. And uh, the trigger even works. It's a horrible trigger. I don't know why it feels so bad, but it just doesn't uh, reset very well. And this whole... Uh, the whole action of this gun doesn't feel very well. I'm sure it's probably because it's been just hammered on over time with, you know, instructional use, etc. But as you can see, it uh, the hammer hits. There is a firing pin in there. The bolt uh, is fully operational. Uh, bolt carrier works. Everything is pretty much spot on. I think they pretty much used a rifle right out of the arsenal and, and made cuts into it essentially and made it a, uh, you know, a, a training rifle. It's got some cuts up here in the, the gas areas. Uh, it's got one up here as well in the rear sight block and I think the coolest part up here is the the front gas block as you can see it's got the cut out there and it goes up into the where the piston lies and all that and the other cool part here is where they have the barrel cut out if you can almost make out the the rifling in there I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that with the the camera and the lighting etc but a uh, really cool display piece the other side doesn't have any cutouts on it so when you look at it from a distance you'd never really even be able to tell that you know, it is a cutout rifle, from this angle at least. It's got the bayonet lug on there. It didn't come with a cleaning rod. I'll have to maybe pop one of those on there myself. It does have the side rail scope mount. And uh, the markings here, I don't know if you're going to really be able to make them out there. I'll read them off here. It says, uh, let's see if I can even make them out in this light. Made by CN Romarm, uh, SA Cougar, in Romania, imported by Century Arms International, Georgia, Utah. On the uh, rear sight block, it says Wasser 10 Cutaway, uh, caliber 7.62 by 3.9. Uh, and then it does have the serial number right here on the, the trunnion. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, what I'll do is I'll maybe pull the, the tripod down here and break it down and give you a little bit of a closer look at some of the parts and pieces. My anticipation for this rifle is just kind of make it a, a wall hanger and kind of a demonstration piece and, uh, you know, a conversation piece for my friends when they come over. I'll uh, clean it up, I'll you know, finish the wood up real nice, and these cutouts are real rough. You can tell they just real, real, uh, you know, quickly went in there and, and ground these things out or cut them out. So I'll make them look real pretty, I'll make the gun, you know, clean up and, and make it real pretty, and uh, add some of the missing cosmetic features, such as the cleaning rod, we'll get a bayonet for it, a sling, 
um, you know, and a couple other things that maybe I can think of and maybe a new grip, something like that, but make it more authentic to what it is and, uh, again, make it a wall hanger piece and I'll certainly do another video after I've kind of, you know, done the project, completed the project on this rifle and show you the end result of it, but uh, before that, let's go ahead and break it down here and just give you a closer look. Some of these inner workings like the bolt carrier and the bolt and uh, things like that do have some further cutouts in it, so I think you'll be interested to see that. All right, so what I'm going to do is kind of just a field strip of this rifle and show you some of the other cutouts that are involved with uh, what they have in this rifle. So it breaks down just like a standard AK. You can pop the dust cover off here like, like a normal AK. The recoil spring comes out like normal. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that the dust cover does obviously have some cutouts there. It'll uh, show you the bolt carrier riding back and forth as well as uh, this rear one here which uh, must just kind of show you the recoil spring up setting in there, that kind of thing, which isn't too exciting, but it does show it to you. Uh, on the inside here, nothing real out of the ordinary. Again, the trigger group, it looks like it's just a single hook. Uh, it is a, must be from the original parts kit or from the original rifle. It's not a G2 or anything like that. Um, looks like a standard Romanian um, single hook trigger. Then you have the bolt carrier. We'll pull that back and out. And the bolt carrier itself does have a couple cutouts, one being, I'll just give you kind of a close up on the bolt carrier, one being right there where the piston intersects with the carrier itself, you can see they got that cut out and kind of showing how that piston sits in there, and then towards the back here, you'll notice this cut out, which will show you some of the operation of the bolt, and I uh, thought there was another one here, but yes, yeah, right on the top here. And this is actually where the recoil spring, you'll kind of see how that sits into the bolt carrier then. So those two spots there. Otherwise, the bolt carrier is pretty much spot on for a standard AK. There's really nothing abnormal about that one. Uh, the bolt itself, I was surprised to see that this actually had some cutouts in it. It was kind of cool. From the outside of the rifle, you can actually see the extractor from some of the ports and cutouts that it has. And hopefully you guys can make this out. I hope the lighting is pretty decent for you guys. But there you go. You can see the extractor cutout there. And then in the uh, kind of the bolt body here, you notice that it has a cutout right there, which is demonstrating the firing pin that's inside there. And you can hear it. There is a firing pin in there. The pins that hold the firing pin in and the extractor in are exactly the same of a standard AK. And uh, let you see there that indeed there is a firing pin there. So again, this is uh, a firearm that will technically chamber and fire around if you uh, were uh, daring enough to do it, I guess. And uh, we'll go on from there. We'll try to remove this magazine. It's the uh, things just don't want to come out very easily. Uh, the inside, I don't know if there's really anything special to show you guys, but I'll just give you kind of a peek in there. And I don't know if I can get a good angle on here for the. There we go. For the chamber, the bullet guide, all that good stuff. Uh, nothing really abnormal there. It is a chrome line barrel, so they didn't uh, skimp on their instructional rifle, which was kind of surprising. Uh, you'll notice we have the cutout there for where you can kind of see the, the uh, piston going back and forth in the gas system. We can go ahead and remove this bracket for the upper hand guard. And you'll notice it has a cutout there, which is pretty unexciting, but I'm sure they just kind of threw it in there to demonstrate that there's a, a tube in here, more or less. All these parts are numbered, and, and most of them do match, I'd say... Uh, uh, the majority of them do match, so that's kind of unusual for uh, you know a Rom Romanian, a R Romanian I should say rifle. Uh, towards the uh, bottom here, we have the cutout here on the bottom handguard, and here as well to show how the cleaning rod goes in. We have the gas system again. I'll kind of give you guys a close up on that in case you're interested. Which you'll notice again, it also has the bayonet lug still intact there, and then you have the the rifling etc. And that's pretty much it guys, I mean it's not uh, horribly sophisticated with a bunch of cutouts everywhere. You can certainly do more cutouts in this if you really want to make it a, you know, a really cool piece. But again, my, my intention here is just to clean it up, we'll add some missing accessories and we'll make it into a wall hanger. Stay tuned if you guys are interested and uh, hopefully this project will be wrapped up uh, pretty quick here. I don't got a whole lot else going on so um, I'll have that up as soon as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate watching. Till next time, take it easy.